A Gonvik woman is charged with two counts of vehicular homicide for allegedly running over and killing a man she lived with. According to the criminal complaint in the case, 47-year-old Beth Windis is accused of backing her car up while intoxicated and driving over and killing 51-year-old Jonathan Sundquist of Gonvik. Matt Hansen has more. The family of Jonathan Sundquist has begun to gather here at his home in rural Polk County. They traveled down from Duluth today. Now, I had a chance to speak with them for a few minutes, and they are still visibly shaken and upset from what happened over the weekend. They say this incident has left them speechless. According to the criminal complaint released today and obtained by WDAY News, Winda says she started arguing with Sundquist when she got home Friday afternoon. He had reportedly been crabby and threw some SpaghettiOs. The two cooled off and decided to grab dinner and more drinks around town. But it got bad again just before midnight. When they were driving around, they were kind of arguing. She just kind of wanted to get away from the situation. So she dropped them off at their home to go to a friend's house. That's when the night turned deadly. There was uh, indications of a rapid acceleration from a vehicle. According to court papers, Windus told investigators she then heard a thump thump. Now she was pulling forward. She looked over and saw. Windus reportedly did not call 911. Instead, she went to her boss's home to have her go check on Sunquist. She told her boss, quote, it was bad. When the boss got to the home, she called 911. She told the dispatcher Sunquist was breathing and moaning. But he died by the time help got there. Windus was then arrested at her boss's home. Her blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit. Is there any indication that this may have been intentional? Not at this point, no. I mean, we're still investigating it, but I'm not going to speculate if it was intentional or, or an accident. I mean, she just indicated that she didn't, she didn't intend to do it. If convicted, Beth Windus faces up to 15 years in prison. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.